Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing great and staying out of the heat. It is a scorcher out there. So let me apologize because I didn't have uh, really anything ready for you guys yet. I've undertaken a lot of big projects and I have not finished them yet. It's taken some extra time, but I promise you that you're going to love them. So I've had a lot of you ask me what I do on a day in and day out basis when it comes to printing and painting. So I figured with this video here, I would take you inside a little bit, just do a little snippet of what I do, uh, printing and painting wise, uh, how I go about my day and kind of letting you see some of the work area and uh, hopefully inspire you guys to do what I have not done and that's finish projects. <laughs> I am the worst about starting a bunch of prints and not finishing them. So, so what I am thinking is maybe if I go back and look at this video, maybe I'll get inspired to stop printing a bunch of stuff and start painting everything that I've got. Trust me, I've got enough for probably 20, 30 videos here. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. You know, it's not your typical video that I would put out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some projects that I've started uh, and their current stages, let you see some of the big projects that I'm working on and um, see why I'm not posting any really new painted content right now. Shame on me. Shame on me. So if you will, just indulge me here for the next five, six, seven minutes or whatever, and uh, let's just see what I got going on. And um, yeah, let's take a look. All right, so first things first, after work is done, uh, go into the room and just uh, kind of check out what's going on in the printers and just sit down and get started on the next project. So one thing I'm getting ready to do right here is I'm getting ready to glue the top of the torso down to the legs on this Hulk Buster here. Um, this is full scale. This is a 1-6 scale, but this thing is huge. And I'm getting ready to show you what the base looks like. It looks like a big gigantic surfboard. It's over four feet long. And uh, so this is one that I am currently working on and this is taking a little bit of time. This is taking a lot of resin and a lot of FDM and you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a little bit. So give me just a minute. I'm going to glue this top portion on and I'm going to set this on the base along with Hulk and you will really see how big this thing is and you'll see what's taking up so much time in completing this project here. Give us a second here. All right, so basically what I'm doing here is I'm mixing up this two-part epoxy, um, and this is what I'm going to glue it together with. I dare not use super glue on this because it would definitely break off. Um, so this is what I use on all my large pieces, um, simply because this stuff holds up over time, and over time super glue tends to get brittle and start to wear off and break off and stuff. So what I just mix this stuff up. I got like a glue board here. You can tell all the glue that I've used. And then I will just uh, put it on here and uh, let it set for a little bit. And then it's good as gold. Okay, guys. So I got everything set up with the Hulk, Hulk Buster base. Let's go check it out. And you'll see how big this thing really, really is. All right, so we're walking into my collection room and here it is on my table. And I don't know if you could really set to scale how big this thing really is, but it is over four feet long and you can see why it's taken uh, a while for me to, uh, to finish it. Uh, but I promise you it's gonna be worth it in the end. Um, and Hulk is pretty much primered and filled and everything. So he's, he's about ready for paint. Um, this right here, the base, I still have some some cracks and crevices, you know, as you print with FDM, you get all kinds of funkiness on here. So I'm gonna use a lot of high uh, fill primer uh, to cover up some of these gaps and stuff like that and give it a little bit better of texture. The Hulk Buster itself is, uh, it's just about done. I'm filling up some seams and stuff. So hold on one second and I'll tell, <laughs> I'll really let you see how big this thing is. So here I am. <laughs> Uh, with this monster. So as you can see, it's pretty big. Uh, I have a space planned out 
uh, probably in my living room. Uh, but the, I think what's probably going to wind up having to happen is these two guys are going to be have to be glued to the base, which I really don't want to do. But I'm not really going to ship this thing anywhere or if I have to move it or anything, it's just all going to have to be just one piece. It's really not that heavy. So this is one that I am working on. Um, and I will have a video for it relatively soon. It's just taken a little bit. Um, but I promise you guys, you'll love it when it's all said and done. Here's another one that I've got. Um, I showed you uh, this video a while back, some several months ago, and I have not finished working on it yet. So um, let's take a look at this one. All right, so I'm sure you guys recognize this piece here. This is the uh, Venom Let There Be Carnage diorama from Wicked Art. And this thing took over, I did a video of it uh, where it took over 10,000 grams of resin. And I started working on some of it, filling in some areas, and I just never finished it. This thing is so time consuming. And I think my ADHD is kicking in and I just really just, I lose patience with things <laughs> and uh, I know I should stop with printing stuff, but um, I just, I love printing and I love having stuff uh, th to look at and everything. But this is a beautiful model and I promise you, I'm going to work on this one uh, relatively soon. There All right. So now we're going to go check out, if you have not seen Galactus yet, I'm going to go show you what I've got so far. This thing... <laughs> is just insane i really bit off more than i can chew on this model but let's go check it out All right so this is how far i have to get back that's galactus um right now he's standing at about four feet four inches tall um, i thought he was actually going to be bigger than what he is um, but the base is the last part that i have to print and if you hear that noise it's because I have another piece printing over here and unfortunately I only have one CR10 um, big enough to print these base pieces. The only other FDM printer I have is that little bitty one there and that's not going to cover having those other uh, pieces uh, printed. Um, so what my idea is, is I'm going to have Silver Surfer coming out of his hand and um, I'm going to do all the cosmic rays and stuff like that. And I've got a lot of filling to do. I had a split down here in the knee, um, but I patched it up, a little, little FDM uh, welding and stuff. And this right here, the reason this is like this is because it stopped printing. And I don't know why. And then I had to just go into Mesh Mixer and cut that top power off and uh, fit it. But um, he's going to turn out to be pretty neat. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It is a monster and it is taking some time, but again, uh, I am definitely um, going to get him done soon. I really hope soon. <laughs> like I said, I've got Thing done. I have to finish up his base and I've got the torso here and his base is done. Um, I just got to uh, get these guys uh, painted. So I'm addicted to 3D printing and this is all that I have printed so far. The, the, I mean, this is just terrible, isn't it? I mean, I haven't painted any of this shit and I'm so backlogged, but I just keep printing and printing and printing. So, I mean, like right here, I have a Nick Fury uh, that I'm working on and here is Silver Surfer and some scrap parts. And then I have Mephisto, Rocket Raccoon, a bunch of other stuff here, Ghost Rider, uh, a couple of minis here, a couple of Usagi Yojimbos that I did for a good friend. Uh, and then I got Blade, the Torso, and the Bust, Dr. Fate, Wolverine, the Superman that I'm doing in the black suit. Yes, I will do doing a black suit with a sculpted cape. Um, and then I've got Omega Red over here, just a bunch of spare parts over here. Then I have the Deadpool Bust and a Wolverine. And then I have Loki and Dr. Strange's cape, which the only reason I have not finished Dr. Strange is because of that damn cape. So yeah, typically when I come in my room to paint, um, essentially I just come in here and pick up a piece and just start working on it. Um, most of the time I'm utilizing my time uh, cleaning off prints that just come off the, the printer. And man, I, I really got to stop that. I got to get so much painted for you guys. Um, but I, I love printing out these models from Wicked. Uh, 
Gabriel and them, every time I turn around, I'm thinking, okay, I can stop printing. Um, but he comes out with something kick ass and I just got to print it. So, um, and there's some other stuff that these guys are really getting ready to come out with that are extra special. This is my workbench right here. This is one on the inside that I have. I have another one out where I do a lot of my airbrushing. I don't do any airbrushing in here, but this is where I do all my hand paints. Um, of course, paper towels are a necessity. You have to have plenty of that stuff. But it's a mess right now, and I like it being a mess um, because I have all my stuff there um, where I can find it. So I'm going to take you in here throughout my house and let you see like some of the work that I've done and where I have some of my prints uh, and you know some of the works that I've done. So let's go take a look real quick. This is my office area, and uh, above here I have several of the prints that I have finished. I'm sure you guys have seen these in videos before. And these are the prints. Uh, you can re probably recognize these from some of the videos. This is in my workroom here. Um, the Captain America Black Panther. I've got to paint the base that I've done. And then you got Gambit and Nightcrawler. Soon to be joining them will be Wolverine, Omega Red. Um, and I can't remember what other X-Men are. <laughs> There. This is my living room. This is my little Punisher montage here. And I have a Grim Reaper in my house. Yes, I do. All year long. All right, everyone. So there you go. Um, just a little bit in the day of what I do, printing and painting. And uh, I hope that helps answer some of your questions. So I promise you that I will have some new content for you pretty soon. I'm going to be doing a review of the Lineant Deck uh, printer, which is an amazing printer, by the way. You guys are going to love this thing. And then I've got a couple of projects to, that I'm finishing up, some smaller projects. And in the meantime, I'm going to get these big projects done, get them printed, painted, and get them completed and filmed and edited for you guys for some new content. So until then, everyone, you know the drill. Like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, go back and watch some of the older videos and stuff for refresher courses or whatever like that. That's the biggest way that you can support the channel. If you wanna support the channel a little further, I do have a Patreon and the link is below in the description. And as usual, thanks to all of my patrons out there. I appreciate your support as well. And until the next video, everybody stay safe, stay cool, and get out there and create something. Print, prep, paint, repeat. And until the next video, everyone, we'll see you.